Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on counting. Children should be given plenty of opportunities to work with numbers up to and including 100. Now here are some examples. The first one is, how many apples are there to the left? Now if you can scan this whole group immediately, you will see that there are six apples. But if you can't do that, you just go one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can do that just via counting. What number comes after seven? It's obvious that the answer is eight. But the important point here is that students should be able to automatically answer eight without counting from one. So as soon as they see the number seven, they know that eight is the next number. What number comes before 13? The obvious answer is 12. Again, students should be able to answer this question automatically. So if they know they're counting very well starting at 1, they know immediately that 12 comes before 13. They don't have to start counting from 1 to get the answer. Tom is now 9 years old. How old will he be in 2 years from now? So if you count on from 9, you will say 10, 11. So the answer is 11. Or you could say 9 plus 2 is 11. That's another way of doing it. For each of the following, write the numbers using numerals. So here's the number in words. 8, there's the numeral. 13, there's the numeral. And 56 <coughs> in numeral form. Ordering numbers. Students should be able to order numbers from lowest to highest and from highest to lowest. <coughs> Excuse me. Examples. Write the following numbers from lowest to highest. So we have 592873. <coughs> so we have to do this systematically and very carefully. We have 2. So if you mark them off, you won't miss any. 3. 5, 7, 8, 9. And here they are from lowest to highest. Write the following numbers from highest to lowest. Again, mark them off systematically so you don't miss any. Uh, 19, so we have to be careful. 19, 13, 12, 8, 7, Two. And there they are, from highest to lowest. In the previous video, we saw how zero was an even number. One example of the use of zero in real life is as follows. Now, here's an interesting question. How many red apples are there in the picture? Now, you can see this picture here, and you can see all green apples. So the answer is zero, or zero. So there are no red apples and that's why the answer is zero. The thermometer in the picture has zero. There it is there, for example, and also there. So these are two different scales. Depending on what country you live in, one scale is more popular than the other. For example, the freezing point of water is zero degrees Celsius. So there's the Celsius scale there, and in many countries the freezing point of water is zero degrees Celsius. So that's one example where zero is used. The following speedometer is very common in many vehicles. Zero is clearly displayed. So there's zero there. So zero has many applications in real life and we've just seen a few of them. <coughs> 